Hello Pisces. This is your March forecast. Yes, I know it's late. I really didn't think I was going to be able to post anything this month because Pluto and Uranus have totally uh, shaped my whole life up. However, so many of you asked, so here is your main points of the news for March forecast. On the 5th of March, we've got a full moon in Virgo. And this full moon for you is happening, Pisces, in your house of relationships. So wherever a full moon falls, it's shining a light on this area of your life, telling you you need to put some focus into it. It's often a culmination. So this could be a culmination of maybe meeting somebody that you've maybe been communicating with for a long time and you finally meet them. It could be a culmination of a relationship that maybe needs to end or transform in some way, change in some way. And at the same time, we've got Sun and Neptune in your sign going on at the time of this full moon. So Pisces, I know you love to escape into fantasy land, but where do you need to be real in your relationships? Maybe the truth needs to come out in a situation where, you know, it's just been a little bit, things have been swept under the carpet for a while. What needs to come out? What are your needs? What is the truth of the various relationships in your life? It can be an intimate relationship, it can be work relationships, it can be a consultant that you work with, but all these things to come to light, to be real now, so that you can, it's almost like a Virgo checklist, so that you can then move on and move into new and maybe healthier types of relationships. On the 9th of March, we've got a lovely aspect, a lovely trine, it's a fortunate aspect, a trine happening between Uranus and Jupiter here. So it could be something fortunate happening financially, a sudden surprise, or maybe a surprise in the workplace. And on the 11th of March, we've got a very combustible element happening with Uranus and um, Mars coming together uh, in your second house of finance. So um, I would not do anything quickly financially on that date because there can be arguments, there can be like a volcanic eruption of something. Um, and remember, once something's said, you can't take it back. Same if you've written it. So don't be um, precipitous. Don't act too quickly on that date. Rather, do things more slowly if you can. On the 13th of March, we've got Mercury coming into your sign. So this is a great time for communicating, maybe communicating with somebody what you've been feeling, or maybe at least writing it down. But it should be, communication should be easier for you when Mercury comes into your sign for those last couple of weeks of the month. On the 16th of the month, we have got this final square that I've been talking about between Pluto and Uranus. It's the 7th of 7. So March is still a month of a lot of changes. And it's this Pluto Uranus that's been going on for years now. And it's the last one. So it's the last one looking at your finances. I know for many of you, you've had big shakeups of your finances, big upheavals there. Um, there's been big upheavals with your friends, the people around you. Many of you have had to move. There have been changes of work direction. Boy, it's been going on. But what's important from this uh, square is that you find your own voice, your own identity. Pisces by nature, tends to adopt an identity of the people around you. You like to flow, you like to go along with. But this is important, this Uranus energy wants you to find what's important inside you. What do you value? What's the authentic you? And to express that no matter what. So Pisces, a lot being called from you this month. On the 17th of the month, we've got Venus coming into Taurus, into your third house. Well, this could be a nice interaction with a neighbour. This could be some good news with some exam results. And it's also a good time to study something that you really enjoy. On the 20th of the month, we've got a very powerful supermoon because it's a new moon solar eclipse in your sign, Pisces, at 29 degrees, the very last degree, happening in this first house. So this is a really important time to look at 
how you present yourself, how you want to be seen, how you want to look, how you want others to see you. So with it being at 29 degrees, maybe there's some loose ends to be tied up with how you've been, how people have seen you, and some new beginnings. Yes, you've been dreaming of new ways, new ways of doing things. This will be the time for it. This month, there's going to be a lot of opportunities to close things for some endings, but also some new beginnings. But it's very much going to be focused on how you see yourself, how you want others to see you, and how you are in your relationships. So there you have it, my lovely Pisceans. I will share more of all these upheavals in my newsletters and my personal stories to show you to illustrate the astrology. And I thank you very much for listening and I wish you a very happy birthday. Bye for now.